Are you coming to Roatan, Honduras on a cruise ship? If so, you're going to come into one of two ports, Mahogany Bay or Coxon Hall. We just arrived in Coxon Hall. Let's go take a look. If you're new to this channel, my name is Sean. My wife Kat and I for the past 15 years have been traveling all around the world and we finally decided to put some of our adventures on YouTube. Once a week we post a long form travel video. We also post 360 degree video tours, walking tours, in-depth videos and port tours like this one. So if you find that interesting, please subscribe and follow along on all of our adventures. When we first arrived in Coxon Hole, it was very smoky from a fire. But if you are coming to Honduras, especially Roatan, you will be coming into one of two ports. And Coxon Hole is for all the cruise lines except Carnival and Princess. So if you are on any ship other than a Carnival or Princess ship, you will arrive in Coxon Hole. It is a very small port that consists of a bunch of shops, uh, some small kiosks that sell local crafts, and a few restaurants. The restaurants, it should be noted, all have the same menu, and they all use the same kitchen. So when you're looking for a place to eat, you don't have to look far because it doesn't matter which restaurant you go to. The one that Kat and I got a few drinks at and ate at was at the very end, which is in the direction we're currently walking. And we ate there simply because of the view and the protection from the sun and so on. But that's really the only thing you have to use to decide where you're going to eat. All these little booths that are set up, they're all local crafts made by local artisans and some of them were absolutely gorgeous and some of the stuff was obviously just touristy items. But it is nice that they let the locals come in and sell their the stuff that they make or open up a little shop. At the very end down here, you can find an ATM machine and you can also find the bathroom. So if you're in the port and need to use the facilities, there are bathrooms. We did not go in the bathrooms, but I heard that they are pretty clean. And now we're gonna work our way back, going to all the stores that are in Coxon Hole. The first one was just a regular store that sold t-shirts and hats and little knick-knacky touristy items. Next is Cariloja and Del Sol. Those are two of the stores that, that are connected with the cruise line for their, their official sh places to shop. Uh, Del Sol is where you can get all your color changing stuff like t-shirts and bags and nail polish. Piranha Joe, I was actually impressed with this. I've heard of this company before, but out of all the stores in Cox and Hole, the, the prices for the t-shirts were very low and the quality was, was very impressive for a touristy stop. Then there was Sea Goddess, which is uh, they had more t-shirts, but they also had some jewelry in the back, and they had leather products that were quite nice, and gun cases, leather gun cases. Not sure if I would uh, bring a leather gun case on a cruise ship. Uh, then there was the pharmacy. If you've ever been to Central America, then you know that there are pharmacies everywhere, and you can pretty much get any prescription you want without having a prescription. After that, there's the Harley Davidson store. Yep, in Roatan. And they have pretty much everything they have in every other Harley Davidson store. Then there was, this was one of my favorite stores. This one was wooden, wooden items made by locals. 
and some of the stuff was absolutely gorgeous and if we actually had any room to put any of it I definitely would have picked some up and we had a small walk over to the next set of stores and it was Diamonds International which is the big jewelry uh, chain that's connected with a lot of the cruise ships it wasn't however part of the shopping talk on Royal Caribbean which was kind of interesting next was Silver Sun more jewelry and then Colombian emeralds which uh, it was basically more jewelry featuring emeralds And finally, the duty-free shop, which actually was connected to the, uh, the Emerald store. And this just had liquors and perfumes and your typical duty-free items and some hats and t-shirts, obviously. Finally, we decided to walk around and take a closer look at all the local vendor booths that were throughout the area. And I have to say, they weren't super hard hard sell at these places which was really nice they also have if you're interested in this the little fishy that eat the calluses off your feet and this is the bar slash restaurant that we decided to eat at we had a couple drinks and some food and this is the menu uh, cat had nachos with shrimp and I had the fried fish the deep fried fish This was the first drinks we had of the day. They had three local Rotan beers and I tried each one of them. And that is what's left of the nachos with the shrimp. And finally, my deep fried fish, which was the entire fish, so after I ate one side, I flipped it over and ate the other side, and it was outstanding. The prices were reasonable. They weren't super high, but yet the beer was basically what it cost on the cruise ship if you didn't have the, any of the drink packages. By the way, uh, we did arrive on the Allure of the Seas, which is a Royal Caribbean Oasis class ship. Thank you, and if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, and see you next time.